day everyone welcome back to the yoga show we are working today on loosening our low back and our hips especially for us seniors uh, which can be sometimes challenging so we're going to get right into this today today you will need if you can a strap or a belt and likely a block or something to this effect like a book or you could roll up a towel nice and tight actually we're just going to be using this to separate the knees so here we go let's come into uh, come up onto our knees here and roll the shoulders a little bit just get ourselves loosened up so we're going to go through the warm-up it's a bit of a strange warm-up but it really lubricates our joints for this work today so we'll get our shoulders ready here take a little bit of a raise up open the arms out to the side bring the arms back up and we are tensing slightly our upper back so we're drawing our upper back down toward the scapula, the scapula coming down towards the back of the hips here, reaching up and out, and up and out. Hold your arms out here, and then bring your arms to the center and back out, and then see if you can cross the arms. If this is comfortable, turn your palms up and cross, and then flip the hands, the other one on top, and cross, and out, and cross and out and cross and out a couple more here out and cross and out open and close those fists a little bit and let's bring our arms up one more time press down those toes a little bit reach up and draw the elbows back a little bit move your ribs a little bit seeing if you can slide the ribs away from the hips and relax the arms and let's come into a nice tabletop all fours position here nice strong hands and arms wrists directly under the shoulders and knees directly under the hips with a nice flat back press down the feet a little bit and take an inhale into your puppy dog and exhale tuck everything don't forget the chin really work through this pelvic area and exhale increasing our range of motion a little bit each time as we get a little bit more limber. You don't need to move slow on this. It just keep your breathing nice and comfortable but deep. As we inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale two more times. This is called cat and cow, of course. I don't like cat and cow, so I prefer to call it puppy dog, playful puppy dog. And take a little bit of a stretch back here with the hips. Lift the hips a little bit away from your feet, bringing your hands out to the side. And shift your hips here a little bit side to side. We don't want to sit down here. We just want to kind of activate and wake up the sides of the hips here. and come back to center and let's sit down in the center of the mat now we're going to warm up our hips and low back a little bit more so if you want to just relax during these warm-ups and kind of do your thing i'll just cue you through with my voice so you don't have to turn your head in funky directions <laughs> so i'd like us to take our knees in our hands here rather than do some circles with our entire body and using our musculature i'd like us to for our arms and hands to do the work and keep the knees and feet together here as we circle the knees using our arms. So this keeps our lower body pretty much nice and relaxed. Make sure we keep the abdominals in and the back fairly flat on the ground. Take about eight or so circles in one direction. Make sure they're nice and round. And notice my knees and feet are close together. If this is uncomfortable for your back, you can put your block right here and hold the block. Let's reverse directions here. It's kind of, we always want to help ourselves and circle the knees, but 
we're trying to leave them very relaxed and use our hands and our arm muscles to do this work. Then relax the elbows back down here. Take your knees to about 90 degrees, trying to keep your feet off the ground. And just very gently take a little rocking motion side to side. So we're not really doing a spinal twist here. We're just rocking and manipulating our low back a little bit here, the upper gluteals here. Our obliques are becoming a bit engaged. Our entire core is becoming a little engaged, especially on our way back. So we inhale and exhale on this move. And keeping our abs nice and strong, just letting those hips really rotate. Both elbows and shoulders stay on the ground here. A little bit slower as we come to our finish here and notice that knees are coming probably down a little bit lower. And there's no goal, there's no distance where the feet or knees have to be. Then relax those knees back to center and hug one knee using the strength of our arms and hands. Hug one knee all the way into the ribs here, getting this knee as close to the chest as you can and let the other leg elongate and fall to the ground. So as the leg falls down, just let it fall down naturally here. And what we want to stay away from is if you watch this knee, we don't want to compensate here and get this down really far and then, oh, this is the only way I can do it. I want us to hold our knee tight into the chest and the ribs with your biceps and then just slowly lower this leg down. And if it doesn't touch the ground, if your hip flexors are not perhaps that flexible, that's okay. Just let this leg drop comfortably, trying to keep it in line with this hip. With this high leg, rotate the ankle a little bit. Try to take a few circles in each direction. Really rotate, flexing that foot, pointing the ankle, flexing the ankle, and then release gently. If you need a rest, just bring your feet down before you start again, okay? Pull the other knee all the way in, grabbing the shin. You can grab behind the knee if it's better for you. I like to grab the shin, pulling it all the way in and extending the other leg up. Back is nice and flat. And then slowly allow the long leg to lower down. Oh, that should feel very, very good. We want to make sure this long leg is facing up. It's not facing out like a little ballerina. It's facing straight up and that leg is active. It's not locked out, but it's, it's activated a little bit and let it drop comfortably. Again, if the foot hits the floor, fine. If it doesn't, that's all right. Keep a tight hug on this other leg. And when you've reached your farthest point, go ahead and start circling that other ankle. Nice circles. Oh, well, try to do at least five or six in each direction. Involve the toes here. <sighs> Breathe. Not letting up. And then relax both the knees. Drop your feet to the floor for just a second so we can release that low back. Take a little bit of a hug here and rock yourself a little bit side to side. Then we're gonna come onto our hands and knees in a moment and get a little more joint action here in the hips. Coming into hands and knees, we're gonna lean a little more forward than normal here. So normally our wrists are under our shoulders, which of course they should be, but we're gonna take the body a little more forward as the hands are beneath the shoulders, our legs are going to be angled a little, so this should be a little bit easier. So I'm going to bend one knee here, and what I'm going to do is move my foot all the way out and all the way in, all the way out, and I'm going to turn just a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. I'm pulling my foot, I'm leading with my foot here, pulling it out, feeling that internal rotation of the left hip, then I'm pulling my foot across, feeling that external rotation outward and inward. Doesn't really matter how you breathe on this, just keep breathing and pulling that foot. My foot is pretty relaxed and notice I'm not moving my hips, okay? My hips are nice and square and as I'm moving this foot across and out, I'm stopping at the point where my hips want to move. 
And that's about as far as you go. So just keep this going. Our back is in a nice plank. Bringing it across and just feel your hip working here. So this is involving a lot of muscles. And let your hands rest for just a moment then we're gonna to go to the right leg. That's very, very unusual. Who does this, right? Nobody. So that's why we're doing this to warm up. Lubricate our, um, I'll turn around for us here. Lubricate our hip joint a little bit, bringing in that fluid. So here we go on all fours. I'm gonna come forward a little. So my knees are behind my hips, bending this knee. You don't have to bend it all the way. Just bend it comfortably. And I'm in a nice plank. I'm not sinking. And I'm gonna pull this leg, excuse me, pull this foot out and then pull it across. And again, if you want, show you a better angle here, pulling it out and across. And out and across. Keep going with this. Out and across. So we're really pushing that foot over and opening and closing that hip as far as that rotation, as that range rather would allow us. Couple more here. And pull across. And set your hips back and release there for a moment. Let your wrists rest for a moment. And right now, at this point, we're gonna grab our block. Now our block is gonna go between the knees. We don't need to squeeze the block. We just need to hold it in place. And we're gonna take our knees to about 90 degrees here. We're gonna roll onto our side. So our knees end up, if they're 90 degrees, they're in front of the hips. They're not back here, they're in front of the hips. And we're gonna lay on this side with our arms at about shoulder level. And we're gonna just clap our hands here. So pretty much the shoulders are stacked here. I'm gonna breathe nicely. Take an inhale. My stomach is in strong. Extend this arm a little bit if I can, and I'm going to slowly come around the clock. So as we're doing this, just picture your fingers coming around the clock. So I'm, I'm about at 12 o'clock. Here's a key point here. Right now I'm going to bring this arm around and try to flatten my upper back very slowly. Now notice the knees are going to come up a little bit. My feet should be up, and they are now. And I'm not bringing my knees back with me. I'm keeping my knees over here. And they're only coming away from the ground enough to allow me to pull down my right shoulder to the ground. My abs are in nice and tight. Here I go again. I'm going to come around the clock the way I came, holding my bottom half in place, coming around. Now I'm about on 12 o'clock. My shoulder is coming away. I'm bringing my, really extending my hand and arm, bringing this around to meet my other hand. My feet are up, my knees came down, and I finish right there. So we're gonna do that again. This is a wonderful posture movement. Nice and tall with the spine, stomach in. Here I go again, I'm gonna check my form. Arm is coming up and away. My neck is nice and long, away from my shoulders. My ears are away from my shoulders. And I'm gonna try right here to flatten my upper back as I bring my arm around to a T. My knees came up naturally. My back, my entire back is going into a fabulous little spinal rotation here. It just, it feels great. My hands are facing up. Here I'm coming back again around the clock, returning slowly. My fingernails are on the ground or as close as possible. Shoulder coming away, reaching. Now I'm at 12 o'clock, coming around, 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 looking toward that other hand. Clapping my hands again. One more time. Abs in nice and tight, nice tight core. Adjust yourself as needed. All right, take a breath in here. Here we go. Lengthen that neck, keeping the stomach in. Here I go, rolling on my upper back, feet still in the air. My knees might be coming away a little. Yes, they are now. My right side of my back is coming down, right upper back, that is. I'm going to look to my right a little bit. Whew. Slowly I'm returning. This is the last one. We're going to do three on each side. Slowly coming back. My arm is coming way away from my body. Keep your arms nice and long. Clap your hands again. Drop your feet and go ahead and come back to center. Whew. 
boy. That was wonderful. You can stay right there if you want. And I'm going to switch around so that you can see a little bit better. Again, the block right in between the knees here. Coming back with 90 degrees at the knees. Rolling onto my side all the way, knees right in front of the hips. My neck and ears away from my shoulders and my hands are clapping. I'm gonna pull my feet away from the floor slightly. This is gonna help me engage my core and keep it engaged. I'm gonna reach a little beyond if I can, reach a little beyond this hand and I'm gonna start circling here, circling. Circling, this arm is nice and long. Be aware of your shoulders here. Be nice and safe in the shoulders. Pausing here at 12 o'clock because I just feel like it. And here I go, I'm starting to roll down my upper back. My left rear deltoid is gonna come to the ground as soon as I come to a T. And it kind of forces me naturally to lift my knees with, but only as much as necessary. My knees are just dropping here. Here I go back. Coming back around the clock, up to the top, 12 o'clock, arm extended, reaching my hand way away from my hips, strong, 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 abs nice and tight. My knees have dropped again, but my feet are off the ground. Here we go, number two, reaching out and away, keeping that block in place. Here we go up at 12 o'clock, coming around, coming around, coming around. Several ways to do this particular twist. Hold right here for a moment. Your arms are in a T. Remember, both shoulder blades are down on the ground. Your scapula is down on the ground. Here we go on the return. Slowly coming up to 12 o'clock. And you pause here at 12 o'clock, holding tight in my core. My core very taut. Coming around, my knees just dropped. Feet are still up. That was the second one. Here we go, number three and final. Reach away slightly if you can. Abs nice and tight. Spine is long, coming around. Here comes 12 o'clock and now I'm really drawing space into that upper back and my left shoulder. Both shoulders are down now, both elbows are down. Arms are to a T. My last return, coming around 12 o'clock. Core very engaged. Oh boy, coming around, back to clapping hands. Reach forward again if you'd like to. Bend your elbows, drop your feet, and unroll yourself. Oh yeah. And take a breath or two. Let your low back release a little bit. That was quite a twist. And come up when you're ready. All righty, how are we feeling? That was a big move. You kind of notice your neck is probably very relaxed here. Next, what we're going to do is a gentle bridge posture, which is great for the hips, the hamstrings, uh, the low back, very, very strengthening. I'm going to add a little bit to our bridge posture. So we bring our heels, feet nice and flat, feet facing square and forward, toes facing the bottom edge of the mat. Pulling the abdominals in comfortably in a slight pelvic tilt here, and our hands are on the ground. Elbows on the ground, triceps are on the ground, and push into the feet as we lift up here. Now, we're not going as high as we can in a bridge pose. We're really focusing on the hamstrings here. So press down through the heels, and we're still tucking that pelvis. And as we come up to about our limit, our hamstrings and our cheeks, our gluteals are going to get a little tight. Tuck the chin slightly and slowly come back down. And we're going to do this five more times. You can inhale, press down on the feet, inhaling as you come up. Or on bridge, actually, if you'd like to, you can exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down. Breathing, lifting the hips again. Tuck the pelvis, engage the legs, slowly coming down. I'm not actually laying my hiney down on the ground. I'm just kissing the ground with my sacrum and coming back here. Here comes four, I believe. Tucking the chin, pressing my triceps down, slowly coming down. You notice a nice stretch here in the lower hip flexors, your quads, and the upper hip flexors, our psoas area, iliopsoas section. Here we go, five, is this five? I'm not sure, I think this is five. 
Lifting, feel it through the hamstrings. Dig your heels into the ground. Slowly coming down. One more to go. Reach your fingers towards your heels. That back is nice and flat. The chest is open. And slowly come down. Pause right here for a moment to relax your low back. We're going to go in that one position again and hold it as we move the lower body a little bit. Let's just take a breath or two. Coming back into our preparation here for bridge, palms are down. And right here, we're going to come into another lift. Again, not 100%. We're not doing anything 100% here. Lifting, lifting. Pelvis is tucked. Stomach is in. Feeling a little tightness here in the buns. We're going to pick up, lift up one heel here so you're on your toes. And get used to that stabilizing here without moving the hips. Bring your knee toward your head and put this leg back down. The hips never move. On your next exhale, bring your other knee towards your face, inhale, put it back, feet next to each other, exhale, pull knee toward face, inhale, put it back, exhale, other knee toward face, inhale, pull it back, one more set, exhale, knee number one toward face, and down, and next exhale, last one, not moving those hips, we're very square and stable, and slowly release your hips down. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms. Well done. Yay. Hold right here. Very slowly, roll it up. All right, going to go into a little bit of a different position here. And I will turn on an angle a little bit for you. You know, tree pose. We're going to come into a bit of a um, sitting tree pose right here. So this foot is nice and flexed. It's touching the inside of the leg. This leg faces straight up. Our toes face up. This foot is flexed and straight. So we're nice and tall here. Go ahead and take this nice and tall. And on our exhale, we're going to drive ourselves, our sternum and our heart slightly toward our foot. Now, some people can't necessarily get very far here. We're creasing only at the hip. So very important. We're not coming down here rounding our spine. Okay, we're coming forward with the heart. And of course, some of us need to use our strap or our belt right here. And we're just holding ourselves in place, all right? We're not pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. Just holding ourselves in place. The spine is long. The back is nice and flat. My back should be nice and flat. And we may be feeling this a little bit more in the outer left hip. That is the externally rotated leg. Outer left hip, left um, piriformis area, maybe the left inner thigh, left lumborum area, left low back, left middle back. And we want to stay nice and centered here. So our right ribs are right over our right thigh or in alignment. <laughs> this right foot is flexed, my leg is engaged. I'm just going to hold here two or three breaths. and use my hands to push off. So use your hands to comfortably push away here. And we're just gonna take an ever so tiny counter here as we bring same hand to same knee and take an ever so slight twist without moving our legs. So we're just kind of loosening up our abdominal region and our thoracic spine a little bit. No need to hold this for a long time. Back to center. I'm going to make sure my knee is on the pad here. What we're going to do is use both feet. We need this right heel and we need this left foot. So flex this foot. You're on the outside of the foot. The left hand is going to come outside the hip. We're going to push on the feet and we're going to push away from the ground and lift up tall. Raising the right hand up. Now my right foot, your foot I hope, is nice and flat on the ground. Pressing a little bit into that bent leg and foot and strong in the shoulders. Draw the shoulder blades together. Relax that upper arm and slowly release the hip down. Very nice. Other side. Bringing 
ourselves to sitting tree pose. Make sure whatever way you're facing, as we're square, square yourself with something. This leg is in front, the leg is turned up and nice and strong. I might need my strap. Inhale, lengthening the spine, and on the exhale, I'm just crawling down my leg, crawling down the pipe of my leg here. My left front ribs right over my left thigh, and I would feel more comfortable if I had my strap. So I'm gonna use my strap here to hold myself in place rather than pull. I'm just gonna hold myself, take some sinking breaths here. So enjoy this particular stretch. Take a nice deep inhale and back off a little maybe for a sinking breath and then maybe return on that exhale. So this should be slightly tense here and, and very comfortable in the back. Though we're feeling some stretching here on the outer right hip, the glutes here on the right side, the middle and low back probably. And this left leg is nice and strong and activated. We might be feeling this of course in the left hamstrings. And maybe the left calf, it depends how straight your leg is. So hopefully we're pretty straight here. Breathing, 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 breathing. And then we'll back off a little bit here. Take a breath in. We're nice and tall again, straight up. Hand on same leg and take a slight, ever so slight twist over the bent leg. Just a little bit of unwinding here. That's all we want. Unwind just the upper body again. I'm gonna nail and stay in the same place. I'm just moving to protect my knee. I'm gonna rock it forward a little bit. Right hand outside the right hip. I'm using both feet and I'm gonna lift my left hip up. As I press on my feet, press firmly in my right arm. I'm activating in the upper back here. Strong, drawing my blades together and down my back. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Ah, it feels good. Keep breathing. Stomach in nice and tight. And relax that arm down. Make sure you take that hand to the mat. Release that right hip down comfortably. And we're almost wrapping up here. Relax the shoulders. That's a bit of a difficult move, so be proud of yourselves if you did that, all right? Bring your legs to a cross-legged position. We're wrapping it up just about now, and again, we're pushing out, out of the mat, spine nice and long, and use your fingers here to draw your chest a little bit forward. So we make sure we're creasing here at that hip, the bottom of that hip, top of the thigh, and just find a comfortable place to kind of hang out here. And if you'd like to move your hands somewhere, that's fine too. Just breathing. We are running out of time, so we're just about finished for the day. Let's back off a little bit and switch legs. Feet are ever so slightly engaged. Again, press on those fingers if you want to, and really separate the ribs, lifting tall. Exhale and draw forward a little bit draw forward. This is a wonderful, wonderful stretch for the low back. We're also fully engaged in the core, so we're actually not relaxing here. <laughs> we are actually holding a pose. Holding, holding. My feet are a little engaged so my ankles don't press into the ground. And slowly lift up when you're ready. Relax the shoulders. Drop your chin a little and make a little U-turn from shoulder to shoulder, relaxing those shoulders. And take a stretch on your inhale. Take the arms out, take them up. Stay in that tension zone here, feeling that beautiful upper back, the lower back. Oh, wonderful practice today. Again, loosening the low back and hips for seniors, and I thank you for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Stay strong. Namaste.